gag. I want to go <laughs> on the way, but no. So I'm very angry when I'm there because there's no one to talk to. And if you're a guy who likes girls, you want to go out on a date, and sometimes you want a real date. You don't want to abduct these chicks like you're used to doing. You know, you're tired of roofies and duct tape every Saturday night. You want a real date. You want a real date. And so I'm one of those horrible men who judges women by the most shallow criterion. Um, don't ever try to judge a woman or anybody by asking them their top three records, top five foreign films of all time. That's that high fidelity stupid list shit that some guys do. And I can't be alone. There's at least one moron in here who does that with women. And women have seen everything come by, the, you know, 80 times. And if you say, so what's your top five films? The, the girl goes, oh God, he's one of those guys. I can't wait for this to be over. He's not even getting a hand job. I am out of here. And so every once in a while, I find the girl. We're out on the date. We're driving down the road. And I'm driving. I go, do not ask. Don't do the list thing. Don't do the list thing. Just have a nice conversation. Become interested. Find something interesting to talk about that we can both talk about. Don't dominate the conversation. Don't spin the conversation into things that you know so much about so you can preach Stentorian from the Mount. Come on. Be open. Be available. I'm driving. I'm driving. My will is breaking down. And finally, fuck it. I really need to know. So what are the uh, three CDs in your changer right now? Well, I'm really listening to the new Nickelback. Get the fuck out of my car! You suck whatever! You suck whatever! I want a woman who can sit me down, shut me up, tell me 10 things I don't already know, and make me laugh. I don't care what you look like. Just turn me on. And if you can do that, I will follow you on bloody stumps through the snow. I will nibble your mucklucks with my own teeth. I will do your windows. I will care about your feelings. Just have something in there. I want one of them readers, that's what I want. <laughs> I want a reader. And so you go out with a girl and you're driving. So what are you reading right now? And all too often, well, I'm not much of a reader. <laughs> I'm not much of a dinner buyer. Get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> but we're, we're lost in the stucco sprawl of LA. I don't care. But every once in a while, you meet the one who reads. So what are you reading? He asked, the, you know, the date killer question. So what are you reading? Well, I'm in the middle of a book right now. Oh my God, she's in the middle of a book. <sighs> Be still my beating heart. <sighs> so what are you reading? He asked expectantly. <sighs> Nerves tingling, body a quiver. Well, I'm in the middle of this Harry Potter book. <laughs> Don't be an adult woman to read a fucking child's book in my car. Get the fuck out. So. It's obvious a guy like me is going to live alone for the rest of his life. At least I know it. So I've kind of found that A&E History Channel person that lives inside. And when I'm between tours living in the city of Whores in Los Angeles, I just kind of hole up on my own. And uh, by 8 p.m., I'm just in front of the computer on Google or eBay, buying things I don't need and finding out 80 more things about Che Guevara I didn't know before, and hoping that History International has a 12-hour documentary on the Spanish Inquisition and not just a paltry three-hour one. <laughs> And that's the kind of miserable asshole I am. So no one calls, no one comes over, but I have really refined my jack-off technique. Uh, I mean, what else are you gonna do? Uh, you know, it gets late at night, a man wants some loving, and if there's no one around, you just have to love yourself. I love you, I love you too. So. Uh, 